Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up a CNAME or a custom domain on your forums and apps. So to get started, I want to show you this article that we have provided. It uh, includes every detail you might need for setting up your custom domain. It, or, it also has uh, FAQs and um, almost everything you might need. So um, in this video, I will show you in practice how it's done and uh, let's get started. So uh, for the sake of this video, I, uh, I have set up a domain, which is rango.com. And my DNS provider is Cloudflare. You can use yours. I go to Cloudflare and click on the login button. And here uh, I will click my domain. And first things first, uh, you should make sure that in your SSL TLS settings, uh, you have chosen the option full because the default is unflexible and uh, it won't work uh, for custom domains. We want it to be full, fully supported and get back to your uh, DNS tabs. And here I have set up my C names, my A's and uh, every settings I want to do on my DNS uh, for my domain. And um, here I have uh, set up uh, subdomains, business.rango.com, customers.rango.com, uh, employees.rango.com, and support.rango.com. So let's see how it's done. Uh, you can set up custom domains both on your workspace and on your specific forms. If you want to do it on your workspace, uh, for example, this uh, business subdomain, which is business.rango.com. I want to set it up on my workspace so that all of my forms open up with this uh, subdomain. So I have done it already. Uh, you can do it by clicking on your logo or your photo and uh, click on the settings button. And here you will have your uh, custom domain set. Uh, you can set it right here. It's business.rango.com for me. And you can paste it here, save it, and yeah, you're good to go. So now that I have set it up here, all my forms will open up uh, with that um, address. So if I click on this form and go to the share tab, you will see that my address is business.rango.com slash uh, this ID, which, which we call it a slog. And it's an ID for my form and you can change it, of course, by clicking on the summer tab, editing your form and going to the settings tab. And here you can change it to whatever you want. Of course, it should be unique and um, you can save your form and uh, your form slug has been changed that way. So uh, this is how it's working. And yeah, um, so all my forms are, are, are uh, following that rule. And uh, yeah, I have uh, set up the employee uh, custom domain here. But uh, let me show you how you can do it on specific forms. As you saw here, uh, this form is following another rule. Uh, it's, it's having a customized link. So uh, I have set up the employees.rango.com, which was here, and set it uh, uh, on my specific form. And uh, yeah. Uh, it's working and if I copy the link and open it in a new tab, you see that my form is opening up. So um, this is how it's done, uh, but let's try adding a new record. I click on the add new record, click on the C name here. Let's say, for example, I want to set it up for a client and it's showing you that uh, client.rungo.com is an alias of and you should uh, copy this part from our blog or just type it down forms-alias.form.net and paste it here and save it. And so here is my CNA record. And if I want to ch check it out if, to make sure that my changes are recognized by servers around the world, you can go to dnschecker.org and test your mm, CNA record there. Uh, my address is client.rango.com and I choose CNAME here and click on search and I see that almost none of the servers are recognizing my changes. So to make sure that your changes are recognized, it's good to go to your 
DNS um, provider again and turn your proxy off and save it. And as you see, when I clicked on search button, it's, um, some servers have started to recognize my changes. Yeah. So um, now that almost many servers have recognized, let's try it out. I will put my custom domain in a form uh, which is related to my clients um for example this one and uh let's see the form as you see it's on uh formal.net domain and it also opens up on my business domain which i copy and open it here and i want it to open on my client domain so uh i get to the share tab of my form click on the customize link button and here i will paste my subdomain which i didn't yeah so here i have uh, put my custom domain click on save and voila and uh, as you see here my uh, my uh, form address has changed and so i copy the address and open it in a new tab and as you see my form is opening on this url it doesn't change any settings for your workspace your other forms will still open up based on your workspace uh, custom domain for example this form which had which didn't have any custom domain uh, it's following the workspace custom domain which is business so yeah uh, i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you had any questions just comment down below this video or if you had issues on setting up your custom domain, just chat with us via the chat message on our website. Hope you have a great day and happy formal week.